Okay, now let's turn to the computation of limit. The basic the basic method to evaluate limit is use is use the limit laws. What is the limit loss? Suppose the limit of fx as x approaches to a is a capital A, and the limit of gx as x approaches to a is b, and a b are both are uh, both finite. Then we have we have the following uh, limit laws. The first is addition and uh, subtraction. F x plus or minus F x plus or minus g x. The limit of F x plus or minus g x is actually the limit of fx plus or minus the limit of gx as x approaches to a. So the result is a plus or minus b. The second is for product fx multiplied by gx the limit of fx times gx as x, x approaches to a. That is, we take the limit separately and multiply together. So the result is a times b. The third one is for quotient. The limit of fx over gx as x approaches to a, that is the limit of fx as x approaches to a over the limit of gx as x approaches to a. So that is the result is a over b, but here b cannot be zero. If b is 0, we cannot use this law. The fourth is any constant times the function as x approaches to a, the limit of our constant times function. It, the constant can take out, uh, take out over the limit sign. A, C times A. And the fifth is the power of function, the limit of the power of the function. That is equals the power of the limit. So that is a of n. So from from here we can direct it from to to evaluate that as x n as x approaches to a is a n. The this last one is x uh, the limit of f x of gx so that is a of b okay that's the limit loss we use this uh, these limit laws 
uh, to evaluate some uh, some, some limits. The so first one is when x tends to uh, like like one. 3x squared minus 7x plus 5. We can write as the limit is equals to 3 limit x tends to 1 x squared minus 7 limit x tends to 1 x plus limit 5. That is 3 minus 7 plus 5. So that is 1. The second, when x tends to 2, x squared plus 5 over x minus 3. Both, both long, uh, the, the limit for uh, long-letter and the denominator are non-zero. So we can uh, take the limit separately and then put it put put them together. Take uh, take the limit, then the denominator tends to line, and the denominator is negative one, so that is negative line. Third one, when x tends to uh, pi over 4, x squared times sine x. Both x squared and sine x tends to a finite number, so we can take the limit separately and then put them together. When x tends to pi over 4, x squared tends to pi squared over 16, and sine x tends to square root 2 over 2. So that is uh, square root 2 pi squared over 32. Let's use the limit laws directly. But for some cases that Limit laws cannot apply, or the conditions of limit laws uh, does not satisfy. We call those limit uh, are indeterminate. Indeterminate limits. Uh, the limit laws. And I'll to apply or the conditions. That means A B are not the uh, A B uh, infinite or Then we call those limits uh, are indeterminate limit. For indeterminate limit, we uh, we have some elementary method to evaluate evaluate those limits. The first ex, uh, lim uh, the first way is use common factor. We can cancel some common factor. For limit x tends to 1, that is x squared minus 1, x squared plus x minus 2. When x tends to 1, the both denominator and denominator are tend to 0. Uh, both denominator and denominator tend to 10 to 0. So they must have this common factor x minus 1. 
by the Remainder theorem for polynomial. x plus 2. Then we cancel out the common factor x minus 1 because x tends to 1, that is x is near to 1 but not equal 1. So we can cancel this, this uh, common factor because x minus 1 does not equal 0. So we have x plus 1 over x plus 2 left. So now, now the denominator and the denominator are not ten, uh, uh, does not tend to uh, do not tend to zero. We can take the we can take the limit directly. So that is two over three. The second one. Limit x tends to x. Uh, x tends to that is uh, four. X square. Uh, x square. Uh, minus 6x plus 8x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now, when x tends to 4, then the denominator is 16 minus 24 plus 8, that is 0. And x, uh, x uh, the denominator is 16 minus 20 plus 4. That is, uh, that is uh, 0 as well. So there must be, there must be a common factor. X minus 4. X minus 2. Here is x minus 4. X minus 1. So cancel the common factor. Because x minus four is not is not zero. X just uh, uh, approaches to four, but not equals uh, uh, approach, approaches to four, but not equal to four. That is x minus two, x minus one. So that is two over three. <laughs> Okay, that's use. Uh, that's the method for. Uh, uh, so that's the method of common factor. The third examples. I just use the rationalize. Rationalization, maybe. That's the wrong. The first example is when x tends to 0. Square root x plus 4 minus 2 over x. Because there is no common factor here. But we can rationalize the long later. x plus 4 minus 2 times square root x plus 4 plus 2 and then over x times x plus 4 plus 2 after we expand the bracket in the denominator that is x plus 4 minus 4 that uh, for the denominator is x times uh, bracket as square root of x plus 4 plus 2. Simplify, we have the denominator is has x left. The denominator x times bracket x square root, square root x plus 4 plus 2. Then we can cancel the common factor here.
that is 1 square root x plus 4 plus 2. So that is 1 over 4. That's the rationalize. The second one, x tends to two, uh, we use tends to 4. As well, maybe we use line or another one. Line as square root x minus 3 over x minus line. We can use a uh, common factor or rational line, rationalization here. Uh, square root x minus 3 times square root x plus 3. Then there's x minus line times bracket x square root x plus 3. Simplify the nomenclature that is x minus line. x minus line times square root x plus 3. There is a common factor here. So equals x tends to 3, that's 1. Square root x plus 6, so that a uh, plus 3. The result is 1 over 6. That's the rationalization. And there's other uh, method that is common factor. Oh, not common factor, it's a common denominator. When x tends to 0, 1 over x minus 2 over x squared plus 2x. When x tends to 0, both term, both both terms are tends to infinity. Both uh, positive uh, infinity or negative infinity. When x is greater than 0, uh, that is the right hand, the, the right limit, uh, both positive uh, positive infinite and the left the left uh, limit are both negative infinite so we cannot use the limit laws then we use the common denominator the common denominator is x square plus 2x and uh, here is x plus 2 minus 2 because x plus x squared plus 2x we can write as x times x plus 2. So x tends to 0. The long letter is, uh, has x left. That x, x plus 2. And there's common factor. X plus 2 so that is 1 over 2 second example for common denominator x tends to 0 uh, 1 over 1 minus x minus um, 3 1 over x squared x oh, tends to 1 tends to 1 so both terms are uh, tends to uh, positive or negative infinite at the same time so we use common denominator again that is 1 minus x square that's 1 plus x minus 3 
plus x. Okay, maybe here. Uh, maybe it's easier. We use one here. So we can cancel something. One plus x minus one. Let's use two. Maybe we can cancel cancel something. Here is two. Maybe it's easier. So we have x tends to one. One uh, that is x minus one. Here is x minus one. But the nominator is x, 1 minus x and 1 plus x. This uh, has, uh, we, if we can cancel this term, actually we can write as x plus, uh, ten, tends to 1. The nominator is negative 1 minus x, and there's 1 minus x, 1 plus x of the denominator. And we can cancel this one. Uh, this common factor, then x tends to 1, the denominator has negative 1, so that is a one, negative 1 half, that's the common denominator. And uh, uh, the search method, we can use the uh, infinite uh, uh, infinite uh, limit and its reverse uh, or reverse function and the reciprocal function This this one I can uh, uh, actually we uh, deduced we deduced this method uh, last uh, in the last video. For example, the example five. Find the limit x tends to two x cube plus 2x square over x minus 2 square. Now, the nominator tends to, the nominator tends to uh, 8 plus 8, that's 16. Uh, uh, yeah, 16. The denominator tends to 0, tends to because x minus 2 square tends to 0, the part is positive 0, as x tends to 2. To two. And uh, x cubed plus 2x square tends to 16. So the result is positive infinite. Because we can write this as limit x tends to two, that's x cubed plus two x square times one over x minus two square. This tends to uh, to the positive zero from the uh, right of the uh, zero. So this one, x minus 2 squared tends to the positive 0. So the, the whole part of this part is tends to positive infinite times constant. So it's positive, pos positive uh, infinite. Um, x tends to 1, x squared minus 2x plus 1, 3x uh, uh, 
plus one. Oh, that's almost the same. Uh, the same. Maybe we can change other things. Uh, that's x square minus one. Both the denominator and the denominator tends to zero, so there must be the common uh, there is a common factor x minus one square. But now, if we cancel one term, common factor, there's x plus one left. There's x minus one. But for uh, the left limit and the right limit is different for here for for this term. Now the the, the denominator is tends to two, but the denominator tends to zero. So we have to consider the left limit and the right limit. X plus one, x minus one. That is. Uh, x, x from the left of 1, so the denominator de is uh, less than 0, so that is negative infinite because the denominator is positive and uh, the denominator is negative. x tends to, for, uh, tends to uh, approaches to 1 from the right, x plus 1, x minus 1. That is a positive infinite. So the limit x tends to 1. x plus 1 over x minus 1 does not exist. So the original the, the original limit x square minus 1, x square minus 2x plus 1 does not exist as well. That's from the uh, definition of infinite, uh, infinite limit. Okay, that's the um, limit loss and uh, some uh, elementary method to evaluate limits.